hello friends today we will uh, study the practical of circulator so let us start first uh, first of all let us set the reference input uh, level so for that this is the basic setup i have connected klistron power supply is connected with the klistron oscillator isolator frequency meter variable attenuator slotted line section and detector mount and from detector mount we have connected bnc cable towards the vsw meter so let us set the reference uh, output level reference input power level so for that set the beam voltage 300 or 290 290 check the beam current reflector voltage then keep the VSWR range switch to at 40 dB range with normal scale now we will uh, change the reflector voltage. Reflector voltage is fully clockwise, we have to reduce it now in anti clockwise direction. So when it is increasing, we will keep it at 180. So you can see the deflection in VSWR meter. Now we will uh, tune the Clistron oscillator using the amplitude and frequency knob as the power supply is selected with mode selection switch with amplitude modulation mode. So we will change frequency or amplitude button. And we will set the VSWR meter with the 0 dB scale. Okay, so you set VHWR meter with 0 dB scale at 40 dB. So that is our reference input. Now you can see friends, I have connected the circulator with port 1 as input port, port 2 as the output port and port 3 is connected with the match termination. So I am connecting the uh, VNC cable check the level output level you can see it displays 41.8 we have said the db switch as at 40 db and the current reading shows us 1.8 db level red scale we have to check so our reference input at port 1 was 40 db at port 2 we are getting 41.8 db so insertion loss we can say p1 minus p2 that is minus 1.8 dB. So we know the circulator operates on the principle of Faraday rotation and the multiport device will give uh, as the uh, as will provide the input at first port, it will provide the output at second port, not at third port. At third port, we will get isolation. 
so now we will check this detector mount by connecting at port 3 and this match termination will be connected to port 2 and we will check the isolation between port 1 and port 3 so let us make the connections so I have connected port 3 with the detector mount and port 2 is connected with the mesh termination now we will verify the this uh, db scale so you can see I have to increase the range of db switch and then I have got this table reading it displays 6 in the red scale and the db switch a is at 50 db so 56 db is the output so at port 3 we have got 56 so isolation can be given by p1 minus p3 that is 40 minus 56 that is minus 16 db of isolation we are getting Okay. So, this, this we can see the operation of circulator, it only allows the signal transmission in forward direction from port 1 to port 2, not port 3 and port 2 to port 3, not port 1 and port 3 to port 1 it allows. Thank you. To verify the uh, VSWR of each port of circulator, we have to connect this VNC cable with the slotted line section. We have to connect the VNC cable VSWR meter to the slotted line section to measure the uh, VSWR at port one. We have to uh, connect the port 1 of circulator with this loaded line and all other ports with the match termination using this loaded line we will verify the VSWR scale so set the VSWR scale at position 1 So you can see we have set the scale at SWR 1. Our solid line is uh, located at fully right side. Now we will uh, move along this solid line section and check up to which point the VSWR scale is moving in anti-clockwise direction. So this is the point maximum at which the scale is moving in anti-clockwise direction. Second time. Okay. So at this point we will stop and we will verify the scale to 1.3 so VSWR at port 1 is 1 1.3 at port 1 1.3 so from this we can find out the S parameter S11 can be given by rho minus 1 divided by rho plus 1 that is 1.3 minus 1 divided by 1.3 plus 1 0.3 divided by 2.3 so 
from this we will get the value of S11. So this is the way we can check the S parameter at each port S22, S33, etc. 